Welcome to the Hit New Game Show. Tis the season where two teams of players compete in nonsensical trivia questions unrelated to anything of importance in hopes to win prizes, medals, trophies, and merchandise of yours truly while raising money for local effort of families in the process. I'm your host, Mr. Marzok, and here is... Tis the season. The rules are simple. I'm going to ask questions related to absolutely nothing and are frankly pointless. However, the team that answers those questions correctly first will win the round with 300 points. However, if you answer incorrectly, you will lose 300 points and look like a cotton-headed ninny-muggin. So answer carefully. Additionally, these questions have absolutely nothing to do with Christmas or any other holiday for that matter. And lastly, teams must wait until I say the entire question before they can answer. Are we ready to play Tis the Season? Well, son of a nutcracker, let's get started. All right, and welcome. We have now made it to round two. Let's give them a round of applause. Here we go. All right, so let's re-get to know these thieves here. We have over here... I'm Mr. Bochel, also known as The Thumb. Okay. And? I'm Tiffany, I'm Regina. Okay. I'm Lila, I'm Phalange number one. And I'm Bailey, I'm Phalange number two. All right, and over here we have... Uh, we're Kellogg's Kings. Three Kings here. I'm Alex Kiefer. I'm Zeke Jens. I'm Braden Ritter. All right, and let's get this party started, shall we? We already know the rules. Twelve drummers drumming, here we go. Juliana Berners wrote a marvelous entertaining book called The Book of Hawking, Hunting, and Blazing of Arms back in the 15th century. Real page turner. And this page turning yawn fest, Berners creates names for groupings of animals like a swarm of bees or a gaggle of geese. She also took the time to create a name for a group of hippos. What did she call them? Did she call them gouch, bloat, haybrick, or hand foot mouth? Hey, Bricks. That is incorrect. Or you for ten. <laughs> All right, the correct answer is bloat. Bloat is the correct answer. Eleven pipers piping. Here we go. Is parasailing more fun than Sarah Palin? This question was asked by no one in a recent study. However, the irony is it will help you answer this question. What is the only state in which you can type out the entire name of it on only one row of the keyboard? Florida, Ohio, Iowa, or Alaska? Alaska. That is correct for 300 points. Alaska is the only one you can type out all with one row of the keyboard. Ten lords of leaping, here we go. McDonald's are all over the world, as we all know. Some would think they are even more worldwide than Pitbull. However, there is only one U.S. capital that does not have a McDonald's. Which capital is that? All right, Cheyenne, Wyoming, Helena, Montana, Montpelier, Vermont, or Augusta, Maine? You have ten. Time! The correct answer is Montpelier, Vermont. Montpelier, Vermont. <laughs> Nine ladies dancing. Here we go. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. However, an apple seed won't keep the corner away if you have too many of them, huh? According to the medical news today, apple seeds contain amygdalin, which turns into blank when they are digested. Cyanide, mercury, anthrax, compound cyanide. cyanide. She did say at first that is correct. It is cyanide over here for Regina and Blanche for 300 points. Eight maids of milking. Here we go. Parents die in Disney movies. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Whether it be Anna and Elsa's parents on a ship to see Rapunzel's parents' wedding or Mufasa by his brother Scar. I know. Spoiler alert. Disney mommies and daddies don't seem to make it past the first 15 minutes. That said, there's actually one animated Disney character who is deadlier than Disney itself. Which animated character killed almost 2,000 people alone? Jafar, Mulan, Sir Eric, or Hades? Mulan. The correct answer is Mulan. That is correct for 300 over there. It was an avalanche of people. She killed 2,000 people. Seven swans of swimming. Quote me on this, Luke, I am your father, is a famous Star Wars quote from which movie? 
Star Wars Episode Four, Star Wars Episode Five, both Episode Four and Five. It was never said in any episode. It was never said in any episode. That is correct for 300 points. It was No, I Am Your Father. That is correct for 300 points. Six Geese a Land. Here we go. Since Disney bought the rights to Star Wars now, that would make Princess Leia an actual Disney princess. Aw, so adorable. Now with Marvel Disney teaming up, soon Thor is going to be a Disney princess too. Isn't that great? They just hand them out like medals. So keeping this information in mind, who was the OG Disney princess? Persephone, Snow White, Cinderella, or Queen Latifah? Snow, Snow White. White. I heard Snow White over here and over here. You're both wrong. Minus 300 for both of you. The correct answer is Persephone, which actually came out in 1937, <laughs> making her the original gangsta of all princesses. I says it right there. The goddess of spring. All right. My golden rings. Here we go. This is your this or that question. All right, and this or that question, the rules, I give you a clue. You will need to decide with your team which category it belongs to. Are we ready? Your choices are, is it real cheese or Dr. Seuss word? Is it real cheese or is it a Dr. Seuss word? Ready? Real cheese, Dr. Seuss word. Ready? Corlegi. That is correct for 300 points. They were flustered. That is correct for 300 points. Munch Hunch. I heard over there for 300 points first. That is correct. Ready? Wensleydale. That is correct for 300 points. Goobin. That is incorrect for minus 300 points. That is real cheese. Strudel. That is correct for 300 points. Turo Campo. That is incorrect for minus 300 points. That is real cheese. That is real cheese. Four calling birds. Here we go. It's time for everyone's favorite question. Elephant, mustard, Teddy Roosevelt, or Dracula. One of these is the correct answer. Are we ready? Here we go. Native to the Carpathian Mountains. Dracula. That is correct for 300 points. That is Dracula. Three French hens. Here we go. With a new Bond on the horizon in 2021, that will make 27 James Bond movies encompassing a variety of actors. Many might argue their favorite Bond, however, who was the first actor to play James Bond? Was it Daniel Craig, Pierce Brosnan, Barry Nelson, or Sean Connery? You have 10. Sean Connery. Sean Connery is incorrect for minus 300. Barry Nelson. Barry Nelson is correct for 300 uh, points. It was a made-for-TV uh, movie of Casino Royale in 1954. Two turtle doves. Here we go. This question is seriously ridiculous. Like a Dementor will take your breath away. Ready? Here we go. What is the name of the first Harry Potter book? All right, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone, Harry Potter and the Stone of Dumbledore, Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Philosopher's Stone is correct for 300 points. All right. <laughs> All right, here's your last question. And a partridge in a pear tree, we know how this works. You are going to have all of the answers on the board. All right, all of the answers on the board. I will give you a clue. Again, you can still get minus 300. You can still get minus 300, so please pay close attention. Your clue is cock-a-doodle-doo. Your clue is cock-a-doodle-doo. Here we go. I'm going to show you a list. Are you ready? There are all the possible answers. Ready? Airplane. Cockpit. That's correct for 300 points. Household pest. 
Cockroach. That is correct for 300 points. Mixed drink. Cocktail. That is correct for 300 points. Parrot. Confused. I heard over there first for 300 points. Dog breed. That is correct for 300 points. British accent. I heard over here first for 300 points. There are all of your answers. Let's tally it up and see who won. Oh, God! Oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, oh, Regina and the Phalanges moves on to round three. All right, however, let's see. How much money can we raise over here? $84.45. $84.45. No, just total. What do you have? Sixty dollars. Sixty dollars total, which makes you guys winners of a donut party. Everyone's a winner in round two. All right. Have a great day. We'll see you guys in round three.